Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be talking about the amazing guitar suite in Adobe Audition. And uh, it's one of the most useful and unsung heroes of the post-production suite that we use all the time at Cinema Sound. Let me show you. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never used Adobe Audition before, then I invite you to come to cinemasound.com and screen our Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 product, because that'll take you from a place of, ah, I don't know how to use it at all, I've never seen it, to a real mastery of just about every functional aspect of Adobe Audition for audio and post-production. So we're here just like you'd see in any normal non-linear editor or DAW with clips in the timeline like this. And we've got uh, a couple of things that we're going to deal with uh, with the guitar suite. Here's a gunshot. A nice ring. Here's some dialogue. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. From our man Malcolm McDowell. And here's some music. Which is obviously super, super loud. Normally what people do is they want to put their plugins on clips, so they'll select clips like this and go to effects and here's special and distortion guitar suite, all those. Or you can go to the effects rack itself under clip effects, select the clips you want and do the same thing having up to 16 different clips. But we don't want to use clips, we want to put this on the track so that all of these clips are affected all at once. So we're going to go track effects here, make sure the correct track is selected, which it is track one. And then we're gonna go special and guitar suite. There's not a lot of plugins that are like guitar suite and how they're laid out. It's, it's sort of a suite of plugins put into one. You've got a compressor, you've got a filter, you've got distortion and amp model distortion and amp modeling itself, which is amazing that all four of those can go into one. Let me show you how each one of these work. We're gonna just use the Malcolm McDowell line here and zoom in, we use the time tool and select just the dialogue and make sure that we are on loop, which we are. And uh, let's just take a look at distortion. Each one of these has been bypassed, as you can see. So when we unbypass them, we have, in this case, amount, how much distortion do you want? And then which one of these kinds of distortion do you want? So let's say garage fuzz, like a good, like a little garage band. Let's see what happens here when we put this at 100%. San Francisco, what a beautiful city. Definitely garage fuzz. Let's try a smooth overdrive. San Francisco, what a beautiful city. And straight fuzz. San Francisco, what a beautiful city. Now this is mega, mega distortion overdrive, but obviously being nice on your meters. And of course, when you do this kind of thing, you hear a lot, a lot of the background noise. We probably don't want to use this much, but let's say we did want to create, say, a cop fuzz sound or, or something like maybe over a phone or, a, or whatever. This would be the kind of plugin we'd use, maybe not at that setting. San Francisco. So here it is at 30%. San Francisco. Gives it a nice little crunch. Here's the garage fuzz. San Francisco. And here is the smooth overdrive. San Francisco. Reminding what it was like on the regular bypass. San Francisco. Gives it a nice kind of nice crunch. So here, let's use straight fuzz at about 40%. San Francisco. Cool, let's bypass for now. And then let's go to amplifier, which is modeling actual amplifiers and some other really important things. So here's classic British stack. Now, obviously, they couldn't use any of the brand names like Marshall or any of these other ones, but uh, you get the idea. San Francisco. It sounds exactly like it was going through one of those old British stacks. San Francisco. And the American stack i wonder what who that might be american jazz san francisco or that one here's a classic one san francisco beautiful I mean, just like you were listening to it in, in a, your living room through a through a uh, an amplifier san francisco bass cabinet here's a dual chorus i wonder what amp that could be from our friends at roland san francisco beautiful here's a 1960s american san francisco really grungy and cool hard rock san francisco from the 70s deep four uh four cones by 12 cone, 12 inches. San Francisco. I wonder which one that could be. Now here's where it gets really interesting, where they've modeled actual insides and, and what, what they sound like, what speakers sound like in specific enclosures, like a clock radio. San Francisco. Just like it was coming out of your clock radio by your bedside. Now this just alone could be so useful in emulating sounds that are coming out of a radio and a scene or whatever. This is my favorite one, Metal Bowl. San Francisco. It sounds just like you're in a bowl, and that could be useful for, you know, somebody talking in a toilet or somebody talking inside a tub or anything like that. 
Here is a tin can. San Francisco. Again, useful for all kinds of things where mouths are covered. Here's a special effects glassy high end. San Francisco. Extra highs and a little ring, sharp training. San Francisco. Another beautiful thing. And resonant tones. San Francisco. Kind of. San Francisco. Like it's almost like it's on a steel cable or something. Okay, so we can do that. And then here's a regular compressor. We're gonna go over here and, and bypass. If we put this at 100%, you'll notice that this line and this line are very different in volume. Check out what it's like with this very simple compressor. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. And without? San Francisco. What a beautiful city. So it does a good job of taking this loud line and bringing it down to size closer to this one, which, is, which can be super helpful to kind of do an automatic balancing of loud and soft dialogue or other sounds. Excuse me. And now we have here the filter. And in the filter, we have all kinds of awesome things from old filters, resonant filters, and then vowel filters, phony filters like ah, a, ah, oh, you, all those. So here's just a regular retro. We'll use a low pass filter somewhere at the 800 hertz. And here's your resonance, just like you would on a synthesizer. What frequency is the, is the filter cutting off at? And what's its resonant frequency? And then what kind, low, high, or band? San Francisco. Let's raise this up to 200. San Francisco. 20, three, three grand rather. And if we turn up resonance. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. Just like on a synthesizer. Here's a resonant. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. Now here's a ah, talk box a ah, ah. San Francisco. A ah, e. San Francisco. O oh, uh, this is a ah, e. San Francisco. E o. Oh. San Francisco. Ah, oh, it's actually an a ah. and then u. And you can use these all kinds of places, uh, especially when we get into talk box. Now, when we want to, uh, I just said talk box, I meant squawk box. We can use all of these together to great effect in order to create powerful squawking or other kinds of weird noises. We'll use that straight fuzz. We'll use maybe the classic British stack after all. Oh, by the way, this is how much mix you from the dry signal to the wet signal. And uh, this is on and off. We'll use the compressor to balance everything, and we'll use a little retro filter. San Francisco. And we'll run that distortion up even more. San Francisco. San Francisco. And we'll use a band pass filter now so that we don't want the low frequencies. We'll put this right in the middle with a little less resonance. San Francisco. Maybe even a little higher. San Francisco. Nice. How about uh, smooth overdrive? San Francisco. And we'll use... 60s American. San Francisco. That's pretty awesome. How about uh, that clock radio again? San Francisco. Maybe a little less overdrive. San Francisco. And maybe that fuzz again. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. Sounds like it's coming out of your clock, doesn't it? And here it is in your kitchen. San Francisco. Or what a beautiful city. Whatever that is. Now, what's really powerful about that, there's so many possibilities here, but they've done a really great job of giving you great presets. Let's see, supermarket speakers, all these jump to. San Francisco, what a beautiful city. All you need to do is add a little reverb to it in the supermarket. Here's the old school sound. San Francisco. Ooh, that's really serious. Here's tin can telephony. San Francisco. Super cool. Uh, let's see, breakfast radiation. San Francisco. And if you didn't like that pitch there, we would just turn resonance down. San Francisco. Super awesome. Resonant box. San Francisco. Super cool. Metal, let's see, lowest fidelity. San Francisco. And all of these things are available just in this one plugin so that you can totally take advantage of the power of the guitar suite to make any kind of crunchy noise, sound, anything you wanted. And if you wanted to, you know, the bandpass is actually pretty good at giving you the mid-range frequencies that you want. But if you weren't quite satisfied, remember that you can always, in this chain on the effects rack, add another EQ to really further focus it. And of course, the parametric EQ, as we've talked about in other videos in this series, really gives you powerful control over frequencies. And these are just high and low pass filter coming in. San Francisco. And then uh, we can add even some more resonance here. San Francisco. And then uh, let's get back to the straight fuzz. San Francisco. With a little less of this. And classic warm. San Francisco. Oh, turn it on. San Francisco. That sounds, that's pretty mean and crunchy. So add a little delay to that. And all of a sudden it is, where's my delays? There they are. Uh, echo. 
You're outside and the cops are the cops are calling you. San Francisco. Maybe not that much echo. Mm, less feedback. A little less of this and a lot shorter delay like this. San Francisco. A little more. What a beautiful city. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. San Francisco. What a beautiful city. You're on your way to uh, a pretty cool sound. If you've gotten any value out of this video or any of the hundreds of videos that we have on this channel, please subscribe to the Cinema Sound YouTube channel here and come visit us at cinemasound.com where hopefully many of the hundreds of blog entries and educational bits that we have will get you that Hollywood production value in your production. Until then, we'll see you in post.